Persona 5 R has finally been revealed as Persona 5 The Royale. Not only that, but we also got a teaser trailer alongside it. Why don't you guys join me and let's check it out. But before we start, I need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. This beam looks like you were wrong, Bowen. We did get a female main character. Cause that's all the comments I'm getting in the last Persona video I made. And I will tell you right now, I was right, and this trailer proves it. Now, let's get to the trailer itself. The trailer is very short, but we get a very clear message of what we should expect from this character. The trailer opens with Goro asking the new girl about what she thinks about the Phantom Thieves. This is the dialogue. So what are your thoughts on things regarding the Phantom Thieves? I think that helping people is a wonderful thing to be able to do, but I can't really say that I like them. I don't believe the Phantom Thieves and their methods will reform the world or help others. In the end, I believe that it's only something that you yourself can really solve. This alongside other translations I see makes it very clear this character is not very happy with the Phantom Thieves. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure the main character of Persona 5 would never say something like this, especially since they're the leader of the group. Now, I see some people try to say this is the line Goro asked Joker when they go to the TV station, but they could not be more wrong. They are nothing alike, as you can see here. Now, this is not the only example of this character not being very happy with the Phantom Thieves. In the trailer, we can see her standing and looking at the Phantom Thieves logo being displayed in a big monitor. You can see her closing her fist like she really does not agree with it, or at least that's the feeling I'm getting. Just look at her and think. This was done on purpose here. To me, she feels like an outside force. Now, this is not the only big clue we get in this teaser. While the trailer is happening, we get close-ups to some parts of her body. Now, her school uniform is the most interesting thing here, as we found out that she's actually a first-year student. You can see that in the pin she's wearing here. Why is this important? Well, because Joker is actually a second-year student. Meaning, if this was a new main character choice for this game, she would not even be in the same class as Am, Michima, and Kawakami. Not only that, but she can't even go to the Hawaii trip since that was second years and some third years. We also had the TV station trip that was Kawakami's class and other two years. Anyone that tells you she being a first year is meaningless is either lying to you or did not play the game. It matters especially a lot in the early game. Now let's take a look at her design. Well, she's a girl with red hair and red eyes and a ponytail. I don't know about you, but she sounds familiar. I do find it interesting that if she's supposed to be a female Joker, she has nothing in her looks that makes you think that. Not even glasses or anything. I mean, do you remember Persona 3 female main character looks different? But she still has the headphones the male use. Also, in this trailer, she talks way more than Joker did in any teaser or the whole game. Something a main character persona would not do. Anyway, pretty much all we can get out of this teaser. But I think it's very important stuff. They made sure to include some key things in this trailer that will make you question the default take that she's a new main character to replace Joker in the base game. This trailer to me makes it very clear that she's not and will meet Joker at some point of the game. But now the big question is, who is she and what's her role? Well, I can only see two options to who she is and her role. The first one is that she's a new Ion Arcana, a new social link. She will play a big role in the story, possibly a new rival or something like that, and she seems to not like the Phantom Thieves. I have seen some people even suggest she's the leader of a new team herself that opposes the Phantom Thieves. I feel she's somehow connected to either Joker or Goro. She being Smash tells me that she may have a persona that is very similar to Joker's in a way we don't know. The second thing that she could be is the main character of a side story, something similar to what the answer was to Persona 3. You remember after the main game there was a story where Aegis was the main character involving the death of the Persona 3 male main character. I can actually see Persona 5 Royale adding a story like this to the game where you play as this girl as she deals with something. She probably goes against the Phantom Thieves and she could somehow be linked to Goro 
Another thing that could be is that somehow like it happened with Aegis in Persona 3, she given them powers of the Persona 5 main character and is able to use his Persona for a while. This will explain also the Smash leak about her. So let's go over this again. She's either a new social link, an important character to the story, or she's the main character of a side story like the answer was to Persona 3. But I'm very confident she's not a main character to the main story of Persona 5, and she will exist alongside Joker. So my video about why it was not possible are not wrong. If anything, this teaser made my argument stronger. But how about you guys? What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. This is Omega Baldwin. See you guys another time. Bye.